It's the biggest and, according to NASA, the oldest planet in our solar system. But beneath those swirling storms that ribbon the planet, scientists know remarkably little about Jupiter. And lift off of the Atlas V with Juno on a trek to Jupiter. Launched in 2011, the Juno spacecraft was sent to find some answers at a cost of a billion dollars U.S. Now as it makes its final approach to Jupiter, its entire mission comes down to a crucial 35 minutes. That's how long its engine needs to fire to slow it down. So NASA scientists say on the 4th of July, the real fireworks will be in orbit around Jupiter. The rocket motor has to burn uh, at just the right time, uh, in the right direction, uh, at the right moment for the right amount of time for us to get into orbit. Juno will orbit closer to Jupiter than any craft before it, but it can only do it for short bursts. That's because apart from the sun, the space around the massive gas giant is the harshest in the solar system. It is a planet on steroids. Everything about it is extreme. Uh, the radiation would just uh, not only kill people, but it would knock out our electronics, and so everything's protected. Juno's sophisticated instruments will peel back Jupiter's layers, giving scientists a glimpse inside the planet and perhaps shed some light on what its core is made of. Juno will also look at how much water is in the atmosphere. Because Jupiter could have been the first planet to form in our solar system, scientists hope it will offer clues about how planets develop. How do you make solar systems? Something happens that allows a star to be born and then afterwards the planets. And that first step eventually leads to us. In this harsh environment, Juno can only survive 16 months. Once its work is over, NASA will crash Juno into Jupiter to keep it from colliding with the planet's moons, which scientists want to leave untouched for future missions. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.